fall. A time for sweets, a time for treats, and a time for 1980s Disney made-for-TV family horror films. Now you can forget the Halloween classics like Nightmare Before Christmas, Ghostbusters, Beetlejuice, Monster House. We're above them now, okay? We're sitting at the big kids table. It's time we talk about my new favorite movie to hate, Mr. Boogity. <laughs> We have to move to the middle of nowhere with a bunch of farmers and cows and no cute boys. First of all, Jennifer, it's not the middle of nowhere, it's the middle of New England. <laughs> Secondly, not only is this place beautiful, but we will be the only gag city franchise for hundreds of miles. And best of all, Jennifer, we're gonna have our own house. Our first very own house. Right. Let's get this out the way. The dad, r r right off the bat, an absolute nutcase, okay? We we've got a major case on our hands. This man is unhinged, okay? He does not care about his family. All he cares about is his stupid prank company, Gag City, okay? And hold up. Uh, another thing that, that I've noticed on, like, my third time watching this is... You, you mean to tell me they've been living in this prank van for for how long she she seems to be uh, what like like 14 maybe 15 she grew up in a prank van Are, did, and, and there's kids did, did you conceive did, <sighs> this is not only going to be the perfect town it's going to be the perfect house <laughs> As advertised, definite fixer-upper. So if I'm being honest, the dad scares me more than that haunted house does, okay? I'd be more scared to be in that prank van with him than, than to live in that house. It, not to mention, this is not just a fixer-upper, okay? You can't just HGTV this house, okay? You're not Chip and Joanna Gaines. This is this is a haunted house. It is occupied. There There is no hammer and nail that is going to drive out a ghost or ghoul. Let's go home. This is home, sweetheart. Do you think it's haunted, Dad? Of course not, son. The realtor would have told me if it was. Isn't it great? Come on, guys. There are no such things as ghosts. Let's go. Another thing you'll notice about the father is that he thinks everything's a prank, okay? He is the ultimate skeptic. His family is already mortified. There is all the evidence in the world pointing towards this house being haunted. He does not care. It, like he said, there are no such thing as ghosts. This man, lightning could strike him and he would refuse to believe that, that electricity is real, okay? And funny enough, funny enough, that that very thing happens in this film. Look! Don't point, honey. <laughs> How do you do, Mr. Davis? Witherspoon's my name. Neil Witherspoon. <laughs> Joy buzzers. Pretty great, huh? I sell them by the carton. <laughs> Very nice. Expensive. Not even a minute into this house, and there is already another scary mustached man, okay? Completely ignore that. Your first intention is to try and sell him something, okay? You're taking the grind set to a whole new level. This man eats, sleeps, drinks, and pisses pranks. By the sun, your age, he's unusual. And already we have this other mustached man trying to pawn off his son, 
who's probably like a serial killer, like Jeffrey Dahmer, onto this 15-year-old girl. On behalf of the Lucifer Falls Chamber of Commerce. Wait, 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 the, the, the what falls? What? No jokes, Mr. Davis. This house has a tragic history. You mean ghosts? Wow. Listen, I'd hate to see anything evil happen to you. Okay, some of the lines in this movie are delivered in, in such an unusual, inhuman way. It's perfect. This that was that was the first take, and it was the only take they needed. I guarantee you, they saw it once and they're like, that this is it. This is it! I want you to keep an eye out for the Boogity Man. Boogity! 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 Boo! Okay, Neil, we'll be watching for him. Thanks a lot. Don't ever change. Okay, let's take a look around our new home. What do you think, huh? to live. I bet nobody here ever heard of Bruce Springsteen. Okay, okay, that right there, my favorite line in the movie. Because she assumes the ghosts have the same music taste as her, like she's one of those musical elitists who's like, wait, wait, you've never heard of Tame Impala? We can't be friends! We can't be friends! For about 10 minutes, they're just walking around the house. Nothing's really fishy yet, okay? They're not really suspicious, but Mr. Boogity's coming. Don't, don't you fret, don't you fret, because Jennifer uh, is about to enter the, what looks like uh, a room decked out in just <laughs> RGB LED lights. <laughs> Are you all right? We found you lying here, honey. You were clicking your heels together, and all you would say is, I saw him. Look, it's his footprints. Slimy footprints. Ooh. Oh, boy, these are great. Look at this. <laughs> I can sell these. I can. I can sell these. I'm going to be honest. The first time I watched this, I thought Jennifer just straight up died. And it's not made any better by how nonchalant the family seems to be about the fact that their daughter just had her soul nibbled on by Mr. Boogity. And not even seconds later, Gag City himself is he's thinking about his next prank. He's like, I can sell these. Jennifer, J you did not just die, okay? Calm down. I can sell these. And after Jennifer got her soul sucked out by Mr. Boogity, the boys get their first real glimpse at the raw power of Mr. Boogity. Swinging cabinets open, dropping dishes, turning the toaster on. So Jennifer and the boys decide to ask the historian about Mr. Boogity's origins. And this is the part of the movie where like, okay, you're going up the roller coaster, you're about to peak. From here on out, it is nuts. It is about to get real weird real fast. There's been... What are you doing here? What? What am I doing here? Ah, I work here. <laughs> so I'm gonna sum up Mr. Boogity's origin because it is a surprising amount of lore for some reason. So this guy goes way back. He's a pilgrim, right? Who's seemingly incapable of laughter because he's just such a grump. So he starts scaring kids for fun, dons the name Mr. Boogity, falls in love with this widow named Mary, and she obviously rejects him because he's a complete freak, and then he decides to sell his soul to Satan for a magic cloak that he thinks will help his chances. Newsflash, they don't. And then decides to put a ransom on Marion's son's soul so that she'll fall in love with him. She doesn't. And then he ends up blowing up his house. He blew up his own house? What a dope. This is a real movie. Daddy, we're trying to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, I know, sweetheart, but wait. Watch this, watch this. 
Right? Is that great? So the kids, with this newfound knowledge of Mr. Boogity, go home, try and convince their parents that maybe they should move out of the haunted house. But no, this man-child does not take his family seriously. It just shoots them with ping pong balls and literally just laughs in their faces. So after witnessing a mummy bust out the sickest moves I've ever seen in my entire life, the family decides to be smartest to just go to sleep. The mom wakes up in the middle of the night to the widow's ghost weeping, mourning her dead son, and then and only then they decide it's about time that they actually take care of Mr. Boogity. <laughs> So the family is sent on a wild goose chase looking for Mr. Boogity, and then the sons are sent downstairs to find what looks to be a human lightsaber. It turns out to be the ghost of Jonathan, the widow's son, and Mr. Boogity kind of jebates them. Turns out he's upstairs now, and this, this is when things just explode. Quite literally, it's just, everything goes nuts. <laughs> Look here, Boogity, don't you think this, uh, this haunting business has gone far enough? Boogity! Boogity! Okay, so you don't want to talk, fine. Uh, but this is our house, and we're not leaving, so forget it. So I know I've been crapping on the dad the entire movie, but you have to admire his bravery here. He is staring death in the face and laughing at it. This man's being hit with straight up green force lightning and just taking it like a champ. He's, just, he's literally faking it. He's faking his reaction. He's like, ah, oh, fine, ah, uh, oh, oh, great spooky one, Mr. Boogity. Boogity, boogity, boogity. <laughs> Such things as ghosts. You wanna bet? Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> So after all this buildup, Mr. Boogity is just Luigi's mansion into the vacuum cleaner. It leaves the entire movie open-ended because he's still alive. You, they killed him, and then maybe 10 seconds after, it is revealed he is still alive. So the entire movie is rendered completely po- You know what? I, I hate this movie. I've decided. I've officially decided. I, I hate this movie. It's done. It's done. It's Video's over, guys. Go home.
Hey y'all, just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your patience with me and this channel. It really does mean a lot. And I haven't been putting out nearly as much as I'd like given that I'm a college student and I still need a job. I can't do this full time. So I can only hope that with what time I'm given, I can entertain y'all along the way. And I can't thank y'all enough for being a part of all this. I've also been approaching Twitch and YouTube a little differently, trying to put the best foot forward, but also realizing that now's the time to experiment and just make videos that I've always wanted to make. And starting out, I put so much pressure on myself to be like the YouTubers and creators that I looked up to when in reality i should just be more candid with y'all you know i should i should just be myself um and just kind of build my own personality i'm also feeling very re-inspired with this channel like I, i've got so many awesome videos that i've always wanted to make i've got some videos that i've wanted to make before i even started this channel so if you'd like to stay up to date on those hit the subscribe button or join the discord link below that being said thank you guys so much I will see you guys in the next video. Have a bodacious day.